So following on from the previous video, we got to this table. We've got to um, we've got to um, we've got to this table here. So uh, so r r rather than doing our, our long method, we, it's much quicker to do this table. So you would start out with your with your original function, differentiate it. That will then give you this. Differentiate it. That will then give you this. Differentiate it. That will then give you this. So uh, so now evaluate it at x equals zero. So so you would put zero, you would put zero into here. So when you put zero into here, tan of tan of zero will give you zero. Uh, so it's really you evaluating this. So uh, at at um, at x equals zero, you would put this into here. So this thing here would be uh, the whole thing here would be one, and then uh, and then at x equals zero. Uh, put zero into here, put zero into here, this whole thing here will be zero and so on. At x equals zero, this whole thing here equals this thing here. So the next step is to, um, well, if, if you scroll back and have a look at this, hang on, uh, if you scroll back and have a look at this bit here, so we demand the third derivative to be the same as the third derivative of our series, and then you would, at x equals zero, at x equals zero, this would then give us two, so this is what we've done in the previous video. This will then give us this. So you notice that to, to obtain your A3, you would divide both sides by by this thing factorial, by this 3 factorial here. So so uh, so to obtain your A3, you would divide by uh, by 3 factorial. To obtain your A4, you would divide by 4 factorial. So look so going back to this table, to obtain your A3 to obtain your a3 you would you would get this thing here basically this thing so basically this thing divided by divided by in this case 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial so so to obtain this thing here so so this thing here is basically the number 2 and then and then uh, this is your 3 factorial 3 factorial so that would then give you a third this here is your your a3 and so on, and then you would you would follow the pattern. Okay, so so that will then give you this. So now we've got our, our series for 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 tan of x. Um, so in, in the next video, we we are now ready to uh, define the limit of this thing here because we now have a series for for tan for tan of x. We've got our, our series for the sine of x from the list. So sine of x would be this. So so in the next video, we're going to make use of this series, and we're going to make use of our our tan series, and by the way, by the way, um, another way of, hang on, by the way, another way of obtaining your series is that uh, r rather than differentiating tan, rather than differentiating it, differentiating, differentiating it, well, tan tan of x equals sine of x over over cos of x. So you could make use of this. You could get this series. Uh, uh, yeah, so you could get this series, which is your, which is this one here, divided by, divided by this series. But then th that that would be another way of obtaining your 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 series for for tan of x. That's another way of doing it. But that that's that's another story. Okay, so that that's just an an alternative way of obtaining the series for for tan of x. So in the next video, we are going to um, try to find the limit of this. Okay.